Well, here's a game name I haven't really talked about in a long time, let alone rumors around it. Fable! You guys remember Fable? It was announced for the Xbox Series X slash S with a CGI looking trailer. Maybe it's not CGI. I don't know. Uh, we are entering next gen territory where it's possible that the lines are blurred between CGI and real time graphics. But uh, yeah, it, we didn't really learn anything. It's just like the Metroid Prime 4 logo or when Elder Scrolls 6 was announced. Okay, cool. Nice little Vista shot. Now what? Uh, it's probably a long time off. I'm assuming we're not going to see or even hear about Fable for at least two years, if not three. Uh, but it is a tentpole franchise and Microsoft has had in their cap for quite some time. Uh, the first couple of games were rather successful, but they in some ways underdelivered on original promises. Uh, so th maybe they're trying to avoid that this time around. But we actually have a rumor about the new Fable. Uh, and so I want to cover it because, you know, we cover Nintendo rumors all the time. So why not cover rumor for another game I'm actually very interested in? After all, this channel is all about covering gaming news, including things that I'm interested in or I think you guys might be interested in. I think Fable is a tentpole IP that everyone would like to see succeed. So let's get into this leak. I actually found it on NeoGAF of all places. You guys remember NeoGAF? <laughs> like, weren't they replaced by Reset Era? Wasn't the owner kind of a POS? I don't really know. I don't really care. Um, I'm just going to share the info because it's there. It exists. They're not actually the originating source, but they gathered it all together. So let's talk about it. And then let's talk about the one thing that makes it potentially untrue, but might not matter. It's a confusing conversation. Let's just get into the rumor. So as you see here over on NeoGAF, this is posted up by BlueHawk357. Um, he says, you know, coming from at GameLeaks Rumors uh, on Twitter, which has a pretty decent track record with leaks. Uh, they're never the source. They're kind of reposting leaks they find elsewhere. Alleged leak on the Fable reboot. A first slash third person view. Time travel heavily involved in the play. In-depth character creator. That's not, That would be surprising. Uh, players can ignore the main quest and never become a hero. Multiplayer. Players can create towns. It ties into the main story quest. It's built on Unreal Engine. This is the part that has some people throwing up some red flags about the engine because we know they hired someone to work on a custom engine, but we'll get into that in a moment. Um, we see we got we got some new uh, some new uh, leaks here. It says you'll get the bad ending and fail multiplayer Unreal Engine. Uh, Albion and Aurora are gone. Lands reduced to fables. The spire was rebuilt and used by a mad king to wish that an asteroid would strike the planet. He also wished it would happen again in the far future. Eons later, and everything is new, medieval-themed, new continents, and you have to stop the destruction of the planet again. Theresa and the Heroes Guild are preserved on another planet via Demon Door. Time travel heavily involved in plot, Jack of Blades returns. So kind of a double whammy uh, rumor where there's a couple... Sources. Now, we talked about how the Unreal Engine part is kind of the red flag, and here's why. There was a hiring post at Playground Games. So Playground Games looking for a VFX artist to join our new AAA open-world action RPG project in Leamington Spa, which we now know to be Fable. Uh, as a VFX artist, you have knowledge and experience creating real-time effects. You will work with the CG supervisor and lead VFX artist to create in-game assets that realize the vision for our game. You will be responsible for consistently creating high-quality VFX, ensuring that deadlines are met and work meets the quality required, while also identifying risks or opportunities for improvement. You will be required to learn a proprietary engine. All right, that is the thing. Unreal Engine is not proprietary. So what the hell? Doesn't this debunk all the rumors? Well, as you scroll down here and you continue to read in the thread, you start to realize that that doesn't necessarily mean that it is not happening. See, what, ha what has happened with popular engines like Unreal is companies take Unreal and start to use it as a base. And then as a base engine, they build on top of it. They build out from it, kind of like Android. So they there's a point that you can customize, an, uh, customize the engine so much that it starts to become an original engine even though there might be some faint traces of unreal engine underneath it all now there's been debates about you know can they resell that can they do whatever that doesn't matter what happens is between them and epic on how they licensed out the use of unreal engine and how they licensed out this particular use case where there might have been several customizations to create a 
pretty much unique engine that still has the base of Unreal underneath all of it. That is the running theory on if the rumor is true. Yeah, it could be using Unreal Engine, just not in the traditional sense that we think about it. Um, so, yeah, it's it, it's still possible. The rumor could be true. It could not be true. I, I Obviously, people talking about it are trying to argue that the rumor is true because uh, it comes from fairly reputable sources. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm just excited to even have any news on Fable because we're not going to hear. Let's be honest. There's going to be no official word on Fable. I mean, again, two years. I doubt we're seeing it next year, even at E3, if there is an E3. I doubt we're seeing it. I doubt Microsoft's going to be showing it off in any of their little uh, showcases that they do, like you no, know, their version of Nintendo Directs. I, I just don't see them showing this game anytime soon because, again, all we got was a CG trailer. A CG trailer that looks good, looks nice, but, I mean, I think it's a CG trailer anyways. Uh, but that's it. Uh, and Microsoft has a lot of other games they can show off in the meantime. Obviously, we know about, you know, what is it, Starfield or whatever by uh, Bethesda. Uh, and they, we have the new Elder Scrolls game by Bethesda as well to look forward to at some point. Uh, it Software has got to be working on something, right? They just got Doom Eternal out the door. Is there another Wolfenstein coming or another Doom or, or, or something of that ilk? Maybe a brand new IP. I have no idea. They're working on something. Clearly, uh, that's going to be coming, you know, on the Xbox ecosystem. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited about this kind of game. If you guys don't know, I really like high medieval fantasy. Uh, one of the big reasons I even got into the Zelda series is because of it being a high medieval fantasy game. Uh, same thing with old school uh, Final Fantasy games uh, that were more in the medieval ages versus the more new age cyberpunk uh, sci-fi style that they seem to go for now. Uh, I like the older school medieval style ones. Uh, and I've just always been that way. It's one of my most fascinating uh, parts in human history are, are, are the Middle Ages. Uh, I really enjoy that part of history, even though it's really bloody uh, and, and a lot of bad things happen. It's still a very interesting part of time to me. One of my favorite things I want to do, uh, or one of my bucket list items I want to do, is go out and visit a whole bunch of castles in real life. I know many of you have already had the pleasure to do that or have grown up around them. Uh, so awesome. Uh, I want to see some of the ruined ones versus some of the ones that are very well upkept that didn't see battle versus even newer ones that have maybe been restored. There's just a lot that I, I like about the Middle Ages. Uh, I've read a lot about it, learned a lot about it. Uh, and it's kind of weird because it didn't really happen here in my home country. Uh, my home country kind of happened after all of that. But anyways, uh, I'm just really fascinated by this. I'm glad to see Fable uh, going in the direction that you expect. I, I think the whole, you know, if you do, you could be a hero or you could just not do the main quest and still complete the game, just not as the hero. I find that to be really fascinating, and I wonder how they're going to approach that. Fable's always been a game, like an adventure game, about choices uh, and, and not necessarily being good or evil. It's kind of a choice you make uh, throughout the game, through your actions. So that kind of falls in line with what Fable's always been. I'm just excited to see Fable brought back to life uh, this it looks like if this rumor is true, well, it's not a reboot. They're Breath of the Wilding this. They're having it happen so far in the future that all the stuff that happened in the past is so far in the past it doesn't matter so much. That kind of that's kind of what happened with Breath of the Wild. Everything on the timeline that happened before it, ten thousand years before Breath of the Wild, doesn't matter really anymore. All that stuff is so far behind. Hyrule is a completely different place now, and that seems to be what they're going for here. Even though there seems to potentially be a very similar story plot uh, in terms of what the bad guys are trying to do, it kind of makes sense if you know any of the lore and history of that Fable franchise. Anyways, I'm just really excited to even be talking Fable, to even know that this is happening, this exists. It's not vaporware. Like, Microsoft's actually doing something with this IP finally, so here's hoping. We got to see it to believe it. So thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you think about these Fable rumors. Man, Fable. Can't believe we're talking Fable. <laughs> Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.